Okay, so you just heard the guitar in action. Um, that's a bloody dog I'm on. Okay, he's just playing. That's okay. All right, so what we've got here is a three-string cigar box guitar. It's tuned to GDG. Um, okay, it does have, apart from being a normal guitar, um, let's talk about a normal guitar signal part. Pick up. Okay, strings are strummed. Strums, strum the strings. Um, the pickup picks up the magnetic, uh, the, the, the string, Signal in the magnetic field, yada, 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 transfers that signal through to the volume control. And normally it'll go from the volume control, which is earthed, by the way. So make sure your bridge is earthed. Oh, that's a, you know, that's a thing I say. And it'll go to your output jet. Now, what happens with this guitar, there's a bypass, okay? So on the top of the guitar, you'll notice there's an LED light to tell you when the guitar is actually switched on. Okay, just gonna plug it in. All right, watch what, I, watch what happens when I pull the jack out. Power goes off, okay? So, the guitar pedal is activated by plugging in the guitar into your amplifier, okay? There's a battery compartment on the back, so it's a nine volt battery, okay, which when it goes flat, which hopefully won't be for a very, very long time because this circuit draws barely any power, you basically just pull this off, change the battery over, stick it back on, uh, screw it back on, and off you go again. Okay, that's that. Now, on the top of the guitar is one of my retroelectric effects pedals. This is a fuzz pedal, or a fuzz distortion pedal, I kind of like to call it. So you heard the different ways of, uh, that I was playing it. There's three main kind of sounds that you can get out of this effect pedal, uh, or out of this guitar. So what'll happen that's a little different with this guitar is instead of the volume going from the volume control to the output jack, it bypasses the output jack and it goes up to this switch. All right, so what'll happen then is when you press the switch down, as you would normally on a foot switch, um, what it does is it engages the effect. Um, this knob here is purely for adjusting the level of the effect to unity. Now what that means is if once it, when the effect is off, you strum the guitar, you find the acoustic volume that you like. Once you've found the acoustic level that you, or the clean level I should say, that you like through your amplifier, you then press the pedal, turn the volume up until it's the same as, or maybe a little bit more if you want that extra bit of boost, uh, here on the gain volume control, okay? Here's the trick though, you can, so you got two sounds, you got clean, and then when you press it, you got dirty, okay? Here's the trick though, your guitar volume control will actually vary the amount of signal that goes from the pickup into the effect. So when you roll back, you heard when I rolled back the volume on the guitar, it actually slightly cleaned up the tone. So it wasn't quite as aggressive or distortion. There was still that fuzz sound, but it was much more mellow. So you can actually adjust the amount of gain simply by rolling this uh, pedal back. And it, what it's basically doing is affecting the bias of the, uh, of the effect pedal. Um, and that's how the guitar works. Um, I This one here is the last, or one of the last for, the, for this, for, the meantime of made to order guitars. Um, I will 
build uh, a few of these for the website, uh, but I'm, I'm not ready to do so at the moment. So if you are interested, just keep an eye out on the website at birdwoodguitars.com um, just to see when more of these become available. Um, I may build one using this box. I might change things up a bit and, and mix things around. Um, I don't like building exactly the same. I want to get away from building exactly the same thing all the time. So just even little things like this one that I've done for the customer for this order. I don't want this one to look like the other one that I built for a pr previous customer. So instead of having chrome tuners, I'm doing this one with black tuners. I'm actually going to do uh, chrome corners uh, for this particular guitar instead of black because I, I don't want to build the same guitars exactly the same type of guitar. So once this is all done, this is um, today, I'll let it rest for, so I've only just, literally just haven't even quite finished it because I've got to put the corners on. Um, once this is done, I will then um, send this through to the client once I'm happy with how it's behaving under string tension. Sounds great, sounds really good. Here's a thought, if you don't, if you're not sure how to build effects pedals, my suggestion is, I mean, go and, go and check it out, man. I taught myself how to do it, you know, so it's taken years and years and years. Like it's basically th four years I've been building effects pedals and I, I taught myself how to read schematics. I taught myself how to draw out the schematic, draw out the signal path. I'm certainly not, um, I'm not the type of person who make my own effect. I like to find effects. I like to find vintage style effects online and then mix things up. I change capacitors, change resistors, cha just experiment and get a different sound. That's basically what this is all, effects pedals are all about. Um, and then putting them into a guitar, uh, that's not necessarily a new thing either. Um, you know, there are guitar builders out there, six string guitar builders out there who build guitars with effects in them. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's done this with a cigar box guitar. Um, if you want to try something like this and you've got absolutely no experience, you may think about maybe picking up one of those um, Joyo or Joyo um, cheap effects um, and see if you can incorporate it into a guitar build. It could be something that, you know, that, that, that you can play around with and have a bit of fun with, you know. Um, you know, it, it's just a thought. Um, the difference with mine, as I said, everything I do is made by me. I don't use um, kits. I don't use anything like that. It's all, it's all done by me. That's the way I do it. That's the way I like to do it anyway. So that's it. Uh, that's the vlog for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Please click link, uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you want. Um, pop on over, go and listen to the podcast, The Cigar Boss Guitar Builder as well. If you're not on the group, join the Facebook group called The Cigar Boss Guitar Builder. Um, a lot of things happening, uh, a lot of fun things happening. Uh, this one will be out and then there will be two orders left before the end of the special order work that I've had to finish off so and then it's just going to be all stock man yes looking forward to it okay take it easy